Hey, what's going down, y'all? Just want to say hello and welcome to another episode of Better Than Bad. All right, so over the weekend, I designed this composite. It was basically something that I've done before. For whatever reason, I love gas masks. I love neon lights. I love electricity and, and all things electrical like that. As you can see behind me, it's kind of my thing. It's probably my old raver days. Who knows? But it's engraved in who I am. And I like to stay true to who I am. So when I find a composite or I find an image that speaks to me, I go, all right, well, what else can I do with it? One of the things that people have told me before is what I love about your art is that it's always dark, but you always find a way to shine some light in there. Not just because it needs to be there, but because it creates a focal point. And one of the things that I've been really focusing on lately, how does artificial light sit in an image and look realistic? If we need some contrast, we'll just add some contrast. So anyway, I got a little lost for a few minutes, but then there's always that moment that just clicks. And it ain't about the final image. Falling in love with the process is when you really find your true self. That's when you wholeheartedly connect to the design and you just run with it. You can delete this, you can manipulate that, you can throw that away. You can tweak it down to its most microscopic element. Once again, I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. What I really wanted to do was see how the light would reflect off of the subject and it turned out to be something that I would like to put on a wall. It's very simple. I do things in a certain way because it makes sense. What makes sense to me probably doesn't make sense to you. I like the distractions, I need the loud noises, my LLA, my O. CD, my ADHD, my ADD. It's always trying to take me in a different direction. So I have to create distractions just so I can focus. So if you followed me this far, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this process and show you exactly what it takes to design a grungy neon light photo composite. <laughs>
And that's how we do it here at the Phase 2 Photo Studio. I want to thank you so much for following along with me on this digital journey. If you guys have any questions, if you'd like for me to slow something down, just go ahead and let me know. All my information is down below here. If you would like to be featured in an episode, are you a designer, are you a makeup artist, do you do hair, whatever it is, let me know because I would love to work with you. I have tons of ideas and I love working with other artists. Feel free to take a look at some other episodes. I have a very similar look and there may be another technique I've done in something else that may be more suitable for you. And with all that said, I just want to remind you, you may not be the best, but you're definitely better than bad.